Omar Rodriguez Lopez from Bosnia Rainbows, and um, I'm talking about my guitar and the effects. And um, so, oh, starting with my guitar, here's my guitar um, that we designed with, uh, with Mike Taft over at Ibanez. And so um, um, it's got a humbucker pickup in it. I guess I, I used to just use single coils. Um, I wanted the, the, the neck to be bigger or in terms of thickness here. You know, most necks are small. I wanted it to feel like a half of a baseball bat. And so that's what they did. And, um, and I wanted all the, the, the notes that I care about to be just right here instead of up here. I don't care about playing high notes anymore, which used to be what was right here. So now everything I need is just right here, which seems ergonomically beneficial to a person such as myself. And, um, and uh, yeah, tone knob, volume knob, uh, 5613 are the gauge of the strings and their flat wounds. And uh, that's about all I could say about the guitar. So uh, the pedals. Okay, and so now moving on to the pedals, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you first and foremost to the uh, Boss Chromatic Tuner. Okay, because without that, I wouldn't be able to tune on stage with you know a bunch of people looking at you, waiting for you to tune. And um, and then right after that is the Impress Impress Super Delay, Canadian company, uh, Super Delay, really versatile delay pedal with modulation in it and all sorts of neat little tricks. So uh, we'll move on to the blackout effects phaser. An amazing phaser, what else can I say? It can also double as a vibrato pedal, but it's a, it's a really solid sounding thing. I think I just leave it on most of the time, to tell you the truth, because I like the sound of it so much. Uh, and then there's the uh, Catalina Bread tremolo pedal. Also amazing, but let's just assume that they're all amazing, actually, so I don't have to keep repeating that. So there we go, Catalina. Catalina bread uh, tremolo pedal, you know about that, and and uh, then the DD5 digital delay, which is a, you know, just a pedal that you know me and Jeremy saved up and, and and bought one when it first came out, and, and it's been on the pedal board ever since. I should probably get rid of it soon because of that, and um, and then the Holy Grail for reverb, although the reverb on my amp is great, I just got too lazy to go walk over to it and turn it up, and then the uh, um, oh yes, earthquake device is the Rainbow Machine simply because the name is so cute. Uh, the Rainbow Machine is like a pitch shifter and, 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 and it modulates also and it does its, it does a strange own little thing. You can't even really call it a pitch shifter. Just, you know, check it out, I guess. Um, Impress, again, the Canadian company, their fuzz pedal. It's really nice. And it's yellow. It's yellow, the, that fuzz pedal. And then, uh, oh, Catalina Bread, once again, making another runner-up for two pedals on the pedal board. Here we have him this time uh, in a different role, the Catalina Bread. Uh, we have it as a, as a chorus pedal, which also can double as a vibrato pedal. Um, uh, I assume it's okay to look into that camera, too, since they're both going, but I know you directed me into that one, but I just to change it up a little bit. And last but not least, the, uh, what is this? <clears throat> Boss SL20, the slicer. Uh, and it just does uh, those sorts of, you know, these, these nice little rhythms. It cuts up the, the, the guitar and these nice little, you know, preset rhythms that are there. Um, and so, uh, you know, that's as quick and as brief and as, as much as I can explain about them. I like them all, and I hope you do too. Check them out, over and out. Sorry, I didn't know what else to say. <laughs>